It's your boy Rich. When people see me in the street, sometimes. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you've got that one back like, to a T. It's like, hmm. Hmm. Shall I go towards Hendon Test Center? Are we not at Hendon Test Center? No. Nah. But it's like five minutes. Where are we? We are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buckle up, buddy. Gonna need it. Buckle, buckle up, Rungo. <laughs> Richard is exiting stage right. <laughs> He's not coming back. He's scared. <laughs> What is up guys? We are with Richard RPT in the house. Introduce yourself, what are you doing here? I am up here with Francis the instructor and I am going to do a mock test with my main man. Um, how have your mock tests gone so far? Failed every single one <laughs> that I've done. So I thought I'm going to sit this one out and Richard's going to drive because that will save my future embarrassment and all of the comments saying this guy is supposed to be an instructor but I can't pass a driving test. <laughs> so no pressure on me at I, all. I'll do it for you guys, it's more fun. Do you want to watch me drive around for half an hour just perfectly in silence or do you want to have fun with it? Should we have fun with it? We'll have fun with it. You're going to put some fells in? Let's see how I get on but definitely so if I, I can... fell I'm bringing you up to my neck of the woods and you're going to do one. So I can have a catchy title. Yeah. <laughs> Supposed to be a driving instructor, failed his driving test. Everyone's <laughs> kicking that. We are in Hendon. I, I like this area. Yeah? I do like this area, yeah. On Not... the way up here, loads of dual carriageways. I was flying down at 60. No, it's what was 50. The speed I was flying you know? down at 50. <laughs> That's why you fail your mock test. <laughs> I was flying down at 50. I was really enjoying it. Where I'm from, everything's 20 and it's really boring. But up here, it must be a dream to teach. Nah, it's a really nice area. One massive roundabout that gives everyone the jitters. But apart from that... Apex. Apex roundabout. Okay. Is this route going to take us to Apex? Yeah, we'll have a little look okay, at it. Okay, so we can talk about it and help you guys out with what you need to know to pass your driving test. Sounds like a plan. Bang in. Let's put seatbelts on. Let's do this. No pressure at all. Yeah. 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 Are you just, ready for this? We're yeah? just going to have a little drive around and have fun with it. We're not going to do marking, but if you make a mistake, I might point it out if it's going to be funny enough. <laughs> and we'll just chat about how to pass in Hendon. Great fun. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So, do I need to do, 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 do one, two, three, four, five, six? All right, job done. I think what you do need to do yeah, is I'm switch the engine on. <laughs> make sure you leave that yeah, in there. I think yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, second 100%, time I've done that. 100%. Da, 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 da. Nice observation out of the car park. Yeah, brilliant. How fast is this? 15? This How is 10 miles per hour around here. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to change gear because that will tempt right. me to go a lot faster. Then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Do you notice that? What's that? Go right on the roundabout. Oh. Third exit. Okay. It's a crossroad. It's a crossroads. Oh, your sat nav needs updating. That's the power of TomTom. -tom. You... <laughs> Tom Toms are the worst. Third exit. Uh, if I'm going to get sponsorship from anyone, it's not going to be TomTom. -tom. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop cussing TomTom, -tom, but they are rubbish. Why do te driving tests use Tabia sisters? Interesting. How do, you, how do sisters teach you to drive? You can only have one person in the, in the passenger seat. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell I'm going to concentrate really hard on this one. <laughs> oh, geez. So we've gone past Hendon Driving Test Centre. Yash. And this is interesting start to a driving test. It's like a super residential area. This is not normally the kind of place you'd find a driving test centre, but I'm feeling it. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah that's right. 80 yards. The thing is, the this one and then you've got the Mill Hill the that are exit. so close then, together. At the end of the road, turn right. Why haven't I put my foot down yet? Francis, miles why did you bring hour. me on this? Right on I could have ran out of this car, this place the faster. Exit. Then, dun, dun, at the dun. end of the road, Turn right. Yeah. Tom Toms. So confusing. Do you ever use a Tom Tom to get from A to B when you're driving? What, this specific Tom Tom? Yeah. No, I use no. my phone and Waze. Waze, yeah. yeah. That is the way Google forward. Maps. How's Tom Tom even a company in business <laughs> with free sat lav on your phone? I don't Turn understand. Right. Pub? Yeah. <laughs> Shall I drop you off and just come and pick you back up? <laughs> yeah, you just do, do the outro. Oh, oh, it's Francis. <laughs> it's Francis the instructor. I've heard a skin what is up, guys? <laughs> yeah. 30 miles per hour. Okay, cool. Dun, dun, dun. Can you make it? He's off. You would definitely want to practice that little start off bit if you were taking your test here. Yeah, especially 100%. with that priority, that little thin strip where only one car fits through, it catches a lot of people. Because if you mistime that, 
you are going to slow someone down. And we and know we can't on the way do back that. for your at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah imagine, second, could you imagine failing at the end because you missed the priority sign or two minor faults the whole drive, but yeah, you tried to rush into that. Do they actually need you to go ten miles an hour in that bit? Yeah, a million percent. Oh, really? They yeah, don't... they won't. They won't allow you to go. Yeah, no. I literally teach my my pupils. Don't come sometimes up when you go into a car park you know the sign says five miles an hour sometimes yeah. in car parks when they get you to do bay parking and the instructors say or the examiners say oh yeah it says five miles an hour but we can speed up a bit lovely little scenic route i brought you on today yeah Francis. look at You're that gonna fast love it. train yeah. and everything is yeah it's all right up here why do i teach in hiver green because the examiners are so nice is that why yeah. the examiners are nice in hiver green they're so friendly listen they're lovely in hendon too yeah yeah it's not what you said in <laughs> when the cameras was off. <laughs> I had one the other day off camera, yeah. <laughs> off, uh, off camera. Yeah. I'll be the judge. I can tell you the footage. <laughs> Guys, I love you in Hendon. Yeah. <laughs> off camera. Yeah, off camera. Off camera. <laughs> Would they ask you to pull up somewhere like this? This yeah, is classic. Million. Percent. Pull up on the left in the same place. Do you want me Don't, to do? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'd say Apex 100% the hardest thing to deal with, but then you've got a lot of double, double mini roundabouts. Okay. So you've not got time to, you literally do your MSPSL and then you're straight onto MSPSL again for the second one. So MSPSL, what's yeah. that? So check in your mirrors, put in your signal on to warn everyone. Then you've got your position, depending on where you're going, your speed, and then you are looking. Let's do it for so, this one. All right, centre mirror, left mirror, signalling left, because I'm going left. I've got it down, so that is my speed, and now I am looking. So the car on the right is not going to stop. <laughs> That, that could have been interesting. <sighs> nearly. No nearly signal. Had... He nearly had me on the first roundabout. I've got to. Don't because worry, yeah, guys, I made it. The point of these videos is to educate you guys and help you guys pass your driving test more, nice mirror check, more easily and more efficiently. Point out those little things that your parents might not teach you, but we do as an instructor. So After that, you know. Yards, yeah, I've definitely had that before. And take the second exit. Cool. Where I've, I've had someone that's learned with their parents, but as in like routines or what mirrors they should be checking and stuff like that, they do not have a clue. One of my favourite mock tests, Hannah in Tolworth, she got taught by her dad. Her dad was ledge. He's such a nice guy. Pilot as well. Is it? Yeah, imagine if her dad was a pilot. Sick holidays. <laughs> but he, she didn't check her mirrors once for the whole mock test. So she came what's to me, she did a mock test. And take the second exit. Of course, she failed miserably, but what's the point of a mock test? Yeah. To learn what you're going to fail on for your real test. So I don't like to gas people up and let them pass a mock test. What's the point in that? Yeah. You're not learning anything and I can't give you a driving license. So I told her all about her mirrors and Took five minutes, she was on it, yeah. and then passed her real test. Yeah, that, no, that's why you need a mock test. I do the exact same thing. When I'm marking mock test, you even blink at the wrong time. I'm like, right, I'm yeah, writing exactly. that one down. I've had people pass, and I talk to them after, and they're like, do you know what? I felt like I, I got 12 minors, but the examiner's only marked three. And I'm like, that's because I'm super, super strict harsh. on you. We're yeah. trying to learn stuff on the mock test. It's no, a teaching a tool. A million percent. Hit us up at Driving School TV on Instagram if you need a mock test. If you need a mock test in Hendon, shout your boy. He knows the, the routes. This is one of their real test routes, isn't this it? This is the yeah, actual test Because you leave route. your sat-nav in the back recording real test routes and we, I do the same. Everyone you does do the that, same. Yeah. yeah, Laura does that. So we've got the real test routes that the examiners use. Yeah, I've got my sat-nav is full of Full them. of test Where, routes. Wherever I go, it's getting recorded. Because they're not published. The amount of questions I get on Instagram, yeah. can you send me the test routes? No, because they're on my sat-nav. I can't tell you where they go, but if you want to come and take a mock test, I'll take you on one. It's the, if it was Google Maps, you'd be able to share these routes. That's another problem with Tom. I'm going to start. I check. Tom I check. Tom. Oh, Tom's fine. We love Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom. <laughs> no, I um, I, I started checking online, but then you got to drive around looking at a sheet of paper. Turn left onto here. Turn, and I was just finding it really hard. So it's I thought, difficult. you know what? Let me get the real deal. Put it in the back of the car on silent. Record the routes. And then take your people. And then the it. next people I have in that area, I'm like, right, this is the route we're doing and we'll sort of find the mistakes together. Also, if you've done a mock test with Richard, five times, five different test routes, by the time you get to your driving test, the real one, that's your sixth mock test. Yeah. You're gonna be so used to it, so used to the format that, oh yeah, 20 miles an hour, Jesus. Yeah. That is gonna feel like a breeze. You're gonna get in the car with the examiner and it's just like, oh, done this before. Most definitely. Confidence. My lessons are, yeah, they're, they're fun, they're bubbly, all the information gets put across, but when I then do a mock test, I'm like, mouth closed, serious. Mm. And the first one will throw everyone off because they're thinking, 
hold on, Rich ain't talking. What's going on? What's going on? Panic mode sets in. They need to but get used to that. You though. have to. Oh, a look, million Fred. percent. What's the point in that? It's just a school on that, right? Oh, look, he's failed. 24! <laughs> 24! We're still in the 20 zone! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It is hard, especially while talking. Driving tests are difficult if you're not concentrating. The key, what's the secret to passing your driving test? Tell me in a minute, let's do this. That's all right, this is easy. Right, because okay. it was a double mini, but I'm going right, so I'm only dealing oh, with Oh, you gave yourself the easy route, yeah? No. <laughs> These observations, come on, someone block this side for me. Oh. Throw it to the floor. Yeah, Let's go we're off! off. <laughs> Even the sat nav couldn't handle that. Yeah, secret to passing your driving test is literally not banter, no chatting to the examiner, mm -hmm. plan ahead. If you stop planning for a second, you're gonna potentially give yourself the opportunity to fail your driving test. Yeah. You just need to be focused on what's coming up next and how you're gonna deal with it the whole time. You don't have time to feel nervous. You should be so focused the whole time. It goes by in five minutes and you're not nervous at all. I calm my students down really well. Like, if you've put in the work beforehand, you shouldn't really be worrying, in my opinion, because I say to them, right, I haven't taught you English, and then I'm taking you for a maths test. Mm. I've been teaching you what you need to pass this test. Yeah, don't make it up. So, yeah. Don't try and drive slower to be more cautious. Don't try and drive faster 100%. to be more confident. I'm just do what we taught you. I say literally the examiner ain't gonna ask you to do anything that we haven't already done. So forget who sat beside you. It's just another lesson, basically. You're mm. just going to go and show them your skills. They're not teaching you anything. Another lesson with so, less banter. Yeah. Sometimes I actually say it in front of the exam and I'm like, you're going to show them how to drive. They're not teaching you anything. And they just look at me like, what? What? Yeah, I like this you'll guy. You'll see. <laughs> He's got the chat. He's confident. Here is the dreaded Apex. Apex roundabout. OK. Right on the roundabout. Why have you brought me up here and it's busy? Ross, you're sat there. I wanted a nice, <laughs> nice easy 11 o'clock room. Is it always this traffic-y in uh, Hendon? So, yeah, at the wrong times, this is an absolute nightmare. Do they pick driving test routes based on what time of day it is to I, avoid traffic? I generally think they do, mm. yeah. I hear they, the green they do. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, I've been here before and as I walked out of the test centre, our pupils gone for a test and it was heaving. And I'm thinking, where are they going to go? When they've come back half an hour later, I say to my pupil, what sort of route did you go on? <laughs> it was like, we turned left, turned right, and then it was like open roads, constant. I'm like, okay. so they definitely pick their routes depending on times. There's a the Morden driving test centre. At 8, 10 in the morning, it's so busy. Morden's are surrounded by about three schools, yeah. really close together. So they pick this one test route. There's the 810 test route that they do at Morden. <laughs> There's this one instructor at Morden that I know takes pupils on the 810 test route round yeah. and round and round and round and round and then gets them to book the 810 test route because then you can pass. I hate him. It's not acceptable. Do you think that's a good idea? No, 100%. because then you're going to get in your car afterwards and fail. And you don't have a clue how you don't to have do a clue how any to drive other junctions. Unless yet. you're driving somewhere in Morden yeah. that's on the 810 route. So like I said, I've got loads of routes, but I don't do it with the intention we're going to try and memorise this route. Because sometimes that's a, that can act as a disadvantage. Definitely. Because you might do this same junction nine times and you're like, right, there's never any cars. I can do it in this speed. And that will get drilled into your head. And then the one day you do it and it's different, you're not going to expect it because you're like, oh, I've done this a hundred times before. It's not an issue. So, yeah, when I do these mock routes, it's not because I'm trying to teach them the exact route. I just want them to get a gist of, this is what we're going to be dealing with. And also, when hours, you're next to them, then the point of it is, when you're next to them, they know that they've got that reassurance. When they're with their mum or dad driving, they know that you've got that reassurance, so you're not really driving independently and at risk of your own bad driving. Yeah. So when you do a mock test and they know you're not going to intervene and you, they know you're not going to jump in if you're making a mistake, it's really that first taste of absolute independence that you get in the car. Unless you're used to driving on your own illegally, you've never <laughs> driven without anyone being there to give you that reassurance. So 100%, it's a good thing. And we're not trying to teach you test routes. Right on the roundabout. Here we go, trying Francis. to give you that flavour of what would you do if there was no one here to help you? Yeah, no, most definitely. Your feet are looking relaxed down there. I think you better get ready. On the pedals. <laughs> yeah. We won't tell them what you did on the way up here. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus Rattles. Christ. Don't get me scared, bro. <laughs> Look, what is he doing, though? Come on. What was he doing? The title of the video. <laughs> instructor nearly crashed on a roundabout in Apex. Is this Apex, just, yeah? Just warming up. Yeah, yeah. Just warming up, okay. Instructor crashes. So just lucky we don't up. have the cameras on. <laughs> Nervous!
<laughs> don't know what you're talking about. It's the no. first time I've driven your car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you think of the Focus? You've uh, got one of these as well. I've got one of these, and I must admit, I was actually looking forward to driving a Mercedes. Oh, I'm sorry, man. But My that's only because, only because I see everyone fiddling about with this handbrake. It's horrible. That's what I wanted to see, what the big Palermo what is, was. Yeah, yeah it's cause, difficult. Because it's backwards as well. Is it? Yeah. See, I'm used to I'm used to this, so I know the handbrake will just click off when I want. That wasn't difficult. <laughs> What's the fuss? God. <laughs> Oh, what about no signal there, Francis? Oh, Gonna tell me off? Oh, Actually, that hall. is shocking. It's supposed to be a driving What's instructor. It? Watch all the guys in the comments, they're gonna uh, go, 100%. oh, this guy's a driving instructor, he can't even pass a driving test. He didn't check his mirrors, he didn't signal. Let's see how these guys deal with it. Dun, dun, dun. Not all the guys in the comments, you know those Karens or the Trevors? Ah, <laughs> oh, he went for that amber light. Would you have done that in real life? It was straight through. What, with, the, with no cameras on? Yeah, with no cameras on, that would have been a Put to the floor quick before it goes red. <laughs> oh, good lord. Supposed to be a driving instructor. I <laughs> thought you're trying to teach us how to pass. Nah, no, teaching you how points. to drive. Nah, a million percent. Yeah, now nah, if I was on my own, possibly. But the learner was in front of me. Off camera, yeah? Yeah, off camera. I definitely turned that one off. What car would you recommend people get when they pass their driving test? Obviously, they're not going to be able to afford something like a brand new Focus. Oh my god, what is going on here? I love the way you're double checking. Double checking, because this is my and car. you know what? It's the garages. I need to stop talking, because that off signal there was super late. Yeah, presenting on camera it's and talking su- is super hard. Late. Here we go. Because we're having more fun than like you would do on a driving test. No, nah, most definitely. Oh, this is great, 50 miles an hour. Don't get this at Hivergreen. Lane positioning is what people, a lot of my students will struggle with. How do you keep in the centre of your lane? So you can use reference at the front because I notice a lot of people will try and be checking mirrors, but when they check this mirror, they move right. Check that mirror, they move left. So I say you're snaking. So yeah, 100%. I tend to, if you're not using your clutch, you'll probably see with the foot, um, the camera, my left foot is all the way to the left. So what that does is it kind of puts it center of my car. Okay. So then I sort of just try and vision where my left foot is. It looks center in front of me. That's and then how put that I in the do middle it. Of the and then put that in the yeah. middle of the, the lane, yeah. The second exit, then bare left. Oh, so many big roundabouts around here. But this isn't too difficult. There's traffic lights to tell you when to set off. Yeah, this one. Can't get this one. No problem. Especially if you're going straight on. No problem. And I'm going to do mirror, mirror, and I'm going to signal at the right time on this one. I'm not giving you no more minor faults. Okay. A couple more series and that is it. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. <laughs> And then we've got an interesting video. We, <laughs> you haven't even noticed I failed already. What did you do? Oh, I'll, I'll watch it back in the edit anyway. If you can tell, right, I'll tell you what, Go on. if anyone can get why I have failed already, you, you need to give them a t shirt or something. Okay, cool. Yeah? Comment below. What's Richard done to fail that I've missed because I was having fun with percent. it? A million percent. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. I won't point it out in the edit then. No, I'll just don't. let it run. You, yeah. You've got you to comment below. I'll tell you after, off camera. Okay, off camera. Yeah. There's so a you lot been said <laughs> off camera. It's going in anyway. It's getting in. <laughs> Still don't know where we are, but it looks all right. A bit like Peckham. <laughs> it's not Peckham, there's no Morleys. <laughs> We've got, what was it? You've never seen Wenzel's. Wenzel's? How have you never seen a Wenzel's? It looked really good, like an upmarket Greg's. That's, That's not, not what you said before. You said, is that a B-Tech Greg's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a B-Tech Greg's. Oh, good. I knew I should have got a disclaimer. <laughs> sign the form. <laughs> sign this, Francis. Maybe sign the form. Yeah, if I say it off camera, it's off camera. Oof. Bomber well, agent's going to have you. Uh, yeah. Space. Less space, less speed. Less I bet this gets this road gets people all the time. Because you're so used to driving 50, you're bombing down this road. Right. Do you know, that will get it, because it's really tight, but this little hill junction gets people as well. I don't know why. It's not the easiest to see left or right, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, like those massive bushes. Yeah. Uh, how are you finding this new right. highway code rules? Oh, it makes no sense. Comment below, guys, what do you think of the new highway code rules? So in the highway code, we're supposed to let pedestrians go if they're waiting at a junction, just standing at the side of the road waiting to cross. You're supposed to stop, let them go first before you proceed. Does it make sense? I personally don't think so. It's put in... The the thing is, if everyone knows the rule, it's a little bit different, but I feel like it's so unclear at the moment. I've got learners that are stopping for people and they're just looking at us. Yeah. Why are you guys stopping there? 100%, they just stand (laughs) at the side of the road and look at us. 
Um, the problem with it is, like 20 zones, mm-hmm. the only people that are doing it is learners. Yeah. No, most definitely. I feel like they just, they just got to put it out there a bit more. Because I hear it on the radio and yeah, I, I, obviously I get the emails, you get the emails. But how much people that are not driving actually know the new rules, that's the issue I've got. Or you know when you teach people that someone that's come from abroad, been driving for 20 years, they've got a few bad habits like coasting. Yeah. It's really hard to get them out of that habit. We've got to put real big effort in to get people out of ingrained habits. People that have been driving 50, 60 years, they're not going to start stopping for pedestrians <laughs> yeah, yeah. waiting at the side of the road because they're not going to be thinking about it while they're driving. Yeah, that's no, it's true. It's a whole new way of driving, a whole new habit. Turn around when possible, then take the third right. Okay. When uh, this is the end of independent driving, I'm going to direct you from yeah, here. Yeah, go on, let's go for it. Let's see what you got. I uh, absolutely have no clue why. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what you got. Let's see if you can trick me. You're going to direct yourself from yeah. here. <laughs> At the roundabout, turn right for an exit. Oh, Beaufort Park. Ah, yeah. turn right. Yeah. <laughs> For what was that? That is. A is it in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. You were just going to keep going down the road. I was going to go down the road, do a roundabout, and then go in the other way. Oh, go for it. Yeah, go on. Oh, Francis, you're confusing me. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a driving lesson. You can try. And do what you want. <laughs> I thought you were waiting for me to direct you. Oh, I actually was. I was like, here we go. Let's. This will be fun. But turn me left down the dead end. Now do a uh, left. Le- <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord! I cannot wait to get you on a drive. Yeah, test. when are you going to give me easy. a Watford test? Whenever you're ready. Hold tight. Video coming soon. Yeah, now a million percent. Would I have passed that? Uh, well, apparently you failed. Would Would I have passed it by you by your standards? By my standards, yeah. I would have written down a good few minors. Would you? I would have, yeah, for sure. Like late speeding, signals and late speeding, yeah. <laughs> too much chit chat. Too much chit chat, yeah. having too much fun. <laughs> Don't have fun on your driving lesson. It's not what it's there for. Okay, let's have a reverse bay park. This is your manoeuvre. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, no pressure. I was just going to go to sixth gear because that's where my one is. Dun, dun, dun. No reference point, let's just wing it in there. If I don't get it in first time, I think I should fail. Oh, no, let me not say that now. <laughs> now I've totally scuffed it. <laughs> Francis. How are we doing? Oh! I can't see that left. Lovely observation, nice car control. Am I in on the left hand side? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Winning? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that was stressful. That was loads of fun. You know Thank what? you so much for coming to see us. That Anytime, was awesome. man. Anytime, honestly. You getting a call? Is that mine? This isn't my car. Hello? <laughs> no, I'm doing a video. <laughs> yeah, with Richard. <laughs> Richard, you know Richard. You don't know Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, it's been a pleasure. Till next time. 100%. Till you fail another one. Till I fail my next driving <laughs> test. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Till the next one. Peace. Peace out, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Now for the outtakes. Can I wolf spin out of it? <laughs> <laughs> wolf spin out of it. No looks at all. Off camera, yeah? yeah, yeah off off camera, camera, off camera. Off camera. Okay, cool. Off camera. <laughs> Easy. <laughs>